Dear bookers, today I'm going to show you how to properly package and finalize your spread. So before we even think about packaging, there are some things you have to first do. You have to make sure all your margins are even and especially the internal margins. And what you should first do is you go to InDesign on the top, click go to Preferences, and over here there's Units and Increments. And if you click that, I already changed it, but originally when you open this, the horizontal and vertical categories will be labeled as millimeters. You need to change this to picas for both of them. And it won't change your spread at all, but the computer will read these squares here, these squares as picas. And so you need to make sure that these picas are internalized margins and that everything is evenly spread and divided, I guess. So that's you have to make sure to do that first. After you make sure your margins are consistent, you then must make sure that all your photos are linked. Now if you look at this button here, it says that there are no errors. That means that all the photos are sourced and the computer can find out where the photos are. I suggest that you save all your photos in a specific folder and what you should do is you should label the photos according to their names and according to their letters and page numbers, I'm sorry. So if you look over here at the links, you can see here that there's 228A, 228B, 228C, and etc. according to this page, 228, and the photos that are on this page. And same goes for page 229. There's 229A, B, C, and etc. If there are missing links, it'll tell you with a red button, and it'll tell you how many errors there are. And you could just click on this, and it'll pop up the list. And if you click on those, specific lists, it'll tell you, it'll highlight the photos that you're missing and you, you need to relink them. So please make sure that you name your photos properly according to their page number and just letters of the alphabet and make sure you link all your photos. Once you're finished with that and you're ready to go, then you can package your spread. And packaging is very simple. You go to file and then you click package and you can just click and you can just ignore the name here. And over here is where you change the name to make it easier. So you first type in the page numbers of the spread. And then in parentheses, you write down what the page is. And then you would save this in your yearbook file server. But since I'm doing this on my MacBook, I'm going to save this on my desktop. And I package this, and I just click OK for this. And after I package, I should wait. And you should always double check to see if everything was put in just in case. So here is my folder. Now, over here, if I look, it'll have all my document fonts and all my links to my sources so that this can go into printing and the actual InDesign spread. Now, some of you guys have been asking me, or I've seen some of you guys relinking and linking everything over and over again if you made a mistake with the ori um, original packaging. Well, you're not supposed to do that because you could just open the same InDesign file and it'll save as the way it should be. So, say I want to change something in my new package. I open it and let's just say for this sake that I want to move this photo over here. That's terrible, but just let's say for now I have to do that. Then I can just save this in the same folder as the package. And if I leave it and I reopen it, it'll look the same. It should not it should not ask you over here is an atrocious layout. It shouldn't ask you for relinking everything, and you don't have to relink and relink everything again if there's a problem or you have to save it again. So if there's any problems or concerns that you have that has happened to your spread with these kind of problems, please talk to Sean or myself and we will do our best to help you because packaging is supposed to be a very simple, easy process. So that is basically how you package your spreads. Please do this correctly. If you have any questions, once again, talk to Sean or myself, and good luck.